beloved brethren, I just wanted to quickly say, finish off and say, um, we don't hate any of these, but it is true that God says in the scriptures that these ones are contrary to all men because they love money. Their spirits, they conjure up their ancestors. This is something that the Lord has shown me. They conjure up their ancestors. That's the jinn in the Psalms of David that they try to cast on us. And actually they do cast on us. And these are the things that oppress. These are spiritual things. Okay, beloved. And say, the mystery Babylon is a spiritual city, beloved. So we have to understand that stars, planets are stars. And they're called wandering stars in the epistle of Jude. Stars are angels. Angels are spirits, beloved. So whenever you understand they're not mankind, these are contrary to all men. And their children, Genesis talks about how the um, they come down and lay with men and their children become giants in the land we see what they're doing but understand something very important G god sent out of the sun serpents to bite israel okay because they were complaining and they were doing other things and in the in the new testament you see god saying that you know you know don't do these things because these things happen to israel because of um certain things so um god's true israel is a spirit is people who operate and live by the spirit that's his people they believe in the great spirit they listen to him because abraham didn't have a bible abraham listened to the holy spirit okay the the indigenous tribes listen to the spirit my family my ancestors and even of other nations because i'm also irish and i have many others and the irish saved the, my my tribe so um that just tells you a little bit about the indigenous Irish. And many people came over here, but some of them came over here, you know, because they were coming for freedom. Others were coming over here for the resources. Um, because what they do is they destroy a, a place, a nation, and then they go to other places. But really they don't. What happens is they want you to think that there's the, the real weather issue is us figuring them out. That's the real weather issue that they're talking about, global warming, is that our love for them is starting to, or actually not love for them because we love all people. No, what, is, what it is is we're figuring out their con. We're figuring out their con artists. People are figuring them out just like in other countries. They figure them out and then they, they push them out of their country. Our country and all nations have plenty of land. They don't need to put everybody in little boxes. This is a trick of the devil. He takes them off of the lands and then they put them in cities so that everybody's fighting each other. So they don't figure out that these leaders of the world, the rich who claim to be the persecuted, are the persecutors um, persecuting their victims. And they don't want you to figure out the game. Okay, they don't want you to figure out the con. They want you to stay un in the strong delusion. And that's what Jesus talked about. He says, don't be deceived by these people. Okay, they are deceivers. All right. Their new deception is online. It's YouTubers who have tiny homes and they're traveling the world. And if you look at those videos, there's land everywhere for people to live on. They are traveling the world and they're living the high life, okay? Um, YouTube um, videos on food or on exercise or on health or on you know doctors or, or therapists. This is the new world order, beloved. That's the new world order, everything online. It is witchcraft, and they're making so much money. They have banked so much money on pestilence in 2020. They've banked so much on wars. They bank. These are the these are Babylonians, beloved. These are not who they say they are. And all of the rich in New York who used the natives of that land to build their cities and their industry, industry and their banks and and all of their different um, institutions and their brainwashing places. The indigenous tribes built it for them as slaves, just like they did for Egypt. These people, these people, they're not people. I mean, they're people, but they're, there's also angels involved, okay? And they're like, what was I going to say, Holy Spirit? Anyways, what, what you really need to understand is that we're not battling flesh and blood. And your, your prayers work, and at the end, God defeats our enemies, but understand, just like in uh, the wilderness, because we're in a type of wilderness right now, until Jesus comes and gets us, um, just like in, the serpents were sent out to bite, okay, that's what they did. 
But remember, our apostle, the apostle of Jesus Christ, he got bit by a serpent and he shook it off into the fire. What's that fire? <laughs> That's hell, beloved. These things come up. We got to understand these things, beloved. I hope that this blesses you and just know that it's God's judgment whenever things happen. And the judgment is turning to our enemies. So the judgment is going to be removed from God's people who live by the Spirit, by the Great Spirit, by the Holy Spirit, um, and, and destroying those that are living by the flesh and the blood. And those, those things that came in and made their palaces in between the waters, Jesus said they become a cage of every foul spirit and hateful bird, like Judas Iscariot, okay, son of perdition. Satan entered into him. All right, agape love to you guys. That's the vile man. Agape.